Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here at the Sushi Traveler. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. And as you guys have seen in the title of the actual YouTube video, you'll be able to tell that this is a how-to video. And what are we doing? We're gonna make some tamaki. Toro tamaki, to be exact. So first, I want to thank Riviera Seafood Club uh, for you know sending us this beautiful toro. I mean, this is just beautiful piece of bluefin tuna, as you guys can see. And uh, you know, a great thank you to them for sending that to me. And it's going to be delicious in making you guys a beautiful tamaki. Two versions, by the way. Uh, it's going to be a negi toro and then a toro um, tamaki. Uh, without the negi inside, which if you guys don't know, negi is scallions or green onions. All right, and now here uh, we got your shiso leaves, and then we got some short grain sushi rice. We got some ginger. We got some wasabi, and then we got your shoyu, and we also got our nori right here and our negi, which is the green onion slash scallions. All right, so first we're gonna go ahead and uh, start slicing uh, for the negi toro and for the regular tamaki. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so let's go ahead and start assembling this. First thing uh, that you wanna do is just make sure you can get your uh, your fingers a little bit wet, okay? You don't want them sticking all over the rice, okay? Now, when you take the uh, the nori, you wanna make sure that the, uh, the rough side, which is, this is the rough side on this side, and this is the shiny side. You wanna make sure that the rough side is on the inside, okay? And so we're gonna take a little bit of the rice here, and you wanna make sure that you kinda of go in like a, uh, like a triangle format almost, because you don't want too much, because if you have too much, then it's just gonna look really, really sloppy. And like I said, I'm not a chef by all means, but I am trying, uh, so it doesn't look really look too much like a triangle, but I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hands a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna take the tuna that we have here. Gorgeous pieces of uh, bluefin tuna toro from Riviera. I'm just gonna take about three pieces. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add a shiso leaf inside. Make it look uh, presentable. Great. And then we're gonna take the corner here and we're gonna go all the way to here. And then we're gonna start rolling. Look at that. And here at the end, you're gonna see how it's open. Just take a little bit of the uh, the rice there and just gonna use it kind of like glue. And then you're gonna kind of glue it together. See, it looks beautiful already. Uh, I can't wait to take a bite of this. So let's go ahead and put this to the side right here. Let me know what you guys think of that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make the, uh, the Negi Toro. So I got a bowl here and in the bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and mix the uh, negi, which is the green onion. And then I'm gonna also chop up first the toro to make it into little tiny pieces. So then I can go ahead and start mixing it into the uh, dish. As I mentioned, once again, I am not a chef.
All right, so now that we're done chopping this, let's go ahead and add this to the bowl. We're gonna go ahead and add this snuggy to the bowl. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my hands. Start mixing. There's no time limit on how much you gotta actually mix inside this because you're not gonna have that much anyway. So now that we're done mixing it, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remember, as I mentioned once again, you're gonna go ahead and grab it. Make sure that the rough side, which is gonna be this side, is on the inside facing you. You're gonna go ahead and take some of the rice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to do a triangle shape. Uh, it's the best to your abilities. All right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take, oh, well, actually, let me go ahead and uh, do another uh, shiso leaf. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and put the mixture in on the shiso leaf. And I'm gonna leave it just like that. And remember, go to the corner and then just roll and then take a little bit of that rice, put it in the corner and boom. Then you can take the remaining amount and just kind of like stuff it in there, depending on how many you actually, how many, how much you actually like. All right, there we go. Ah, it doesn't want to stay in there. Sorry, I was kind of out of frame, but here is the finished product. We got the Negi Toro. Temaki on the left, and then we got the regular Toro Temaki on the right. They just look gorgeous.